Hey guys, it's Casey here in my survival world on Feed the Beast, and I thought I'd just make a quick video to talk about um, the way I found to make an assembly table or to power an assembly table in uh, the most efficient way I could find to get it running as quick as I could. Um, so the key behind this is, let me just demonstrate first how, how quick it is. So, it once they all get warmed up, it's at 24 MJ per tick. Um, and how this works is, um, well, these lasers, first of all, as you can see when they warmed up there, they go through um, a few phases. They go from red to yellow to green to blue. And each one of those phases is a different efficiency level. So what you want is blue because that's going to get you the uh, least power loss in your transfer um, when they're warmed up. Um, all the way to blue, that's, like, that's the quickest speed you'll get. And I believe there's less loss. Um, from the engine power to the laser power to what gets the assembly table. Um, so there we go. They go red, yellow, green, and then blue. Um, and so the way I managed to get enough power to actually sustain this is by using only five electrical engines. And the trick here is these uh, redstone conduits and the redstone cell. Um, and these are like the next tier of energy transfer. And these are actually buffers as well. So each segment can hold 1000 MJ in a buffer. And then the cell itself, that block there, holds 500,000. And so to make these, they're essentially, well, they're essentially a replacement for the golden conductive pipe. Um, and these have less loss as well. Um, you just build the conduits. And the only hard part here is the hardened glass because you need obsidian but it's just lead and obsidian. You build the conduit, and for the cell, it's a similar concept, but with uh, the coil there, uh, and it takes a diamond. And once you have the empty frame, you have to fill it with molten redstone. And that's actually not too hard. You just need a magma crucible to melt the redstone. And each, each redstone will give you 50 MB, and that's gonna put, go into the liquid transposer, and you just drop your pipe in there, and it fills it up as per this recipe here and it takes 50 for each segment and 2000 for each block but that's well worth it as as you can see the amount that I can store here is is pretty high 500,000 um, so yeah and then once you've got your lasers all positioned correctly just within four blocks of the table itself um, you can test and make sure that they get there's enough enough storage there so you can see this is depleting now quite quickly um, because it's basically just transferring from that cell into directly to the assembly table at an incredibly high rate of 24 MJ per tick. Um, and since you have this buffer now, I could I could add more more lasers here definitely, um, and they would still run at full efficiency because there's available energy here. Um, it's just a question of diamonds, and I I was running low on diamonds because these do take a significant amount, so. I just have six, and it's actually quite quick, so I'm happy with that. Um, but yeah, so the key here is use a conductive, or sorry, use energy conduits, redstone conduits, and redstone cells. Hook that up to your engines, and use that as a buffer. And it's great because you're using those, you're leaving those engines on anyway, so that they are sitting at their maximum temperature. Um, you might as well be buffering their output instead of it just getting. A discarded as it would be if you used uh, conductive pipes, uh, wooden conductive pipes, and, and golden conductive uh, piping. The MJ would just simply like go away. Um, this this way you actually get to store it and just dump it all at once into that table so you get this 24 MJ per tick. Um, so yeah, hopefully that was helpful. One thing I forgot to mention, when you're setting this up, make sure to use a uh, buildcraft wrench and um, Make sure that this arrow is pointing out for the engines, and on your on your cell, on the side for the engines, make sure it's pointing in, like in like that. It's the little, it's kind of like an arrow that points in, and your output, make sure it's pointing outwards like that. 